traverses from Westlands, it goes all the way in Eastlands, and Mr. Speaker, it is only those of us who are in the ghettos who are suffering. People in Lovington, people in, uh, in Rwanda, Mr. Speaker, I know that you are not from Rwanda, but Mr. Speaker, some of us are literally, my whole constituency has been obliterated. Two words. As I stand here, I do not know whether I'm a member of any constituency. Because if 60 meters, if people demolish 60 meters, the whole of Waraka will be gone. Will be gone. I will not, not have anybody to represent you in this house. Your point, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I would wish also the chairman to look at. There were two things the president said. One, there was compensation, Mr. Speaker that monies will be put in the phones of these people as they move. For me, Mr. Speaker, what is very sad, it is how inhuman they are doing the demolitions. That you cannot just come and see a show, show screaming the way she was screaming yesterday without even giving her notice, without even saying they are coming to demolish. Nobody is removing their stuff. I think that is where the issue is. And as you demolish the other side, I will repeat, in Lavington, in Kilolesho, we have people who have built on that riparian land. I want to see whether we are coming to demolish also those who are on those riparian lands on Runda, Kileleshwa, the whole of Kileleshwa River, Mr. Speaker. Is, people have taken that riparian land and they have built skyscrapers. They need to come there also so that we know it is fairness and it is for everyone to, to, remove, to be removed from that riparian land. So, Mr. Speaker, for me, I want the chairman to bring us all those who are being compensated and how much they were promised to be given. Good. On the same issue, it's unrelated. So hold your horses. Pardon? Go ahead. I would also, on the side of compensation, I would also want, Chair, apart from compensation, what is all the government, through the same ministry, doing so that we avoid further, uh, future menace of the same happening? Can we employ ways like river tunneling? We know all these riparian lands are buffer zones for water, but what are the uh, 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 solutions that we need to put in place right now so that we prevent, we prevent this uh, menace happening in future. Thank you, Chair. Honorable Nyamoko, you've had uh, this request. Can you bring a response on Thursday? This coming Thursday? Are you able or next week? I think next week we'll do. 14 days from now. Next week, Thursday is budget day, so you'll do on Wednesday. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Lel Mengit, now, what did you want to say? Chair, yeah, um, uh, Honorable Speaker, uh, the Chair for Roads spoke on a very important issue. You are and I, I wanted to seek clarification whether we know we have a lot of rumors going around that the 22% allocation to CARA Joseph removed, yes, for savings, yeah. So I wanted clarification. Well, I called out the House that you are all agitated when this matter was brought to the House. Nobody was listening. Nobody raised an issue. But being a first-timer, I will indulge you to say what you want to say. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Yes. I wanted to seek Next time you'll be alert yes. and you contemporaneously respond to issues as they come. Okay. So, Good. So, um, I wanted clarification from the chair. Pan of Road is still here. GK? Yeah, the chairman is still here. Go ahead. Okay. On the clar to clar I wanted the chair to affirm or clarify whether the 22% uh, savings allocation to CARA constituencies is still in place or there uh, there is an ESA or allegations that the said amount has been uh, taken back to treasury. GK has the 22 percent. 
Hold the GK Jared Okello. You know you wait until you are given authority to speak. <laughs> I thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Yes. Honorable Speaker, whereas my friend, uh, the Honorable Member for Nandi, uh, is... Uh, the member for Mgwen. 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 I take back that. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I think the, the, the room, so to speak, that is out there does not really... ...from the savings, Honorable Speaker. But what we have heard is that a directive has been issued by CARA, and I think CORA also, that the savings will be absorbed back by CARA for reasons that are beyond members of this parliament. Honorable Speaker, I think you have made a pronouncement over and over again that no one can unilaterally change any law in this country without participation of Kenyans, without the involvement of members of this house, this house, our constituents and our constituencies alike, Honorable Speaker. And therefore, we need this clarification. That is not a small matter. That is not a laughing matter, so to speak. Are we losing the savings, and if so, why? And on which law has this been premised? Because we make laws for a reason. Okay. Honorable Speaker, finally, at this moment, and if somebody is going to meddle with this matter, we do not know how to handle uh, issues to do with roads in our constituents. But most importantly, all these members of parliament will tell you that the only body that makes roads in their constituencies, even without the involvement of devolved functions, is CARA. So if somebody messes up with CARA, you are messing up with members of parliament, and by extension, members of parliament know when to strike and how to strike the most. I thank you, Honorable Speaker. GK. Honorable Speaker, uh, Indulge me to reread the statement, which had, uh, it's a short statement, which I'd uh, pleaded with members to listen to, so I will read it a second time, if you allow me, Honorable Speaker. Following, and I think, following the reduced fuel okay. level consumption. You don't have to reread the statement. The, it's a brief one, Honorable Speaker. The issues raised are very easy. You can answer them in a minute without reading. Honorable Speaker, because the statement that captures, uh, the paragraph okay, that ahead, captures, uh, uh, so the actual collection, let me, uh, the actual collection in the period 1st July 2023 to, 20, to 31st May 2024 was Kenya City 74.2 billion, billion. It is projected that the board will collect Kenya shilling 6.5 billion in the month of June 2024, bringing the total for the year to 80.7 billion against a revised budget of Kenya shilling 78.7 billion. The difference of Kenya shilling 2 billion may be applied to fund the budget deficit of CARA of Kenya shilling 2 billion. Arising from the above analysis, Honorable Speaker, this is to confirm that the 32% allocation to constituencies under the fuel levy collection for the current financial year will, not be, will be maintained, will be maintained at the original estimate of Kenya Shillings 23.2550072653 billion and will therefore not be affected by the reduced fuel levy collection for the financial year 23-24. Honorable Speaker, the member for Nguyen, I believe I have responded to his concerns. We will not, uh, we will not uh, incur any reductions. And concerning savings, there, there is no law that allows CARA to reverse money from, uh, from regions. 
Kara regions, regional offices to the head office. So all the money that is saved, all the balances are supposed to be utilized within the constituencies as has always been the case. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Okay. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. A request for statement regarding the development of mass rapid transit corridors in Nairobi metropolitan area. Honorable Speaker, pursuant to the provision of Standing Order 442C, I rise to request for a statement 